if you've enabled the customer pricing plan or the quantity breaks plan within the bold custom pricing app, you'll be able to create price groups within the bold custom pricing app to discount either individual products or products in bulk. As you'll see here, I already have a, a price group created. It's called bold test. This will just be an internal name for the price group. This won't be storefront facing at all. This just helps me to identify the different price groups that I have within the app. You'll see here sync. This is just the, uh, the setting here to show us whether or not the price group has finished syncing if we are turning it off or on. Here we can edit the price group where we can add in other products, remove products or change the discount amounts that we're adding within this price group. You can copy this price group or you can set to just delete it. And then you can see the status here, whether it's currently on, if it's green or if it's gray, then it'll be turned off. If we want to create a price group, you can click on create product pricing group here at the top and you can type in an internal name. So again, this just helps you to identify what this price group is discounting compared to other price groups. So I'll just type in bold test two. There's different calculation types, so different discount methods that you can use. So right here, there's a percent discount, also a price discount. So this just discounts the products that you've set within the price group by a dollar amount off and then it's set, set fixed price. So this just changes the price of the product to a specified amount. Uh, it's good to note that if you are using a set fixed price that you can't set the price to be higher than the price that you've set within your shop by admin, only a price that's lower. So for now, I'll just use price discount. This setting here allows you to just change the override cents. So if you just want to change the cents amounts to, let's say 50 cents, or maybe 99 cents or just zero cents. That's where you can change that. If you have the quantity breaks plan enabled, then you'll have some different options in here. If you want the quantity pricing discounts to be set to individual variants, you'll want to select this option. If you want the discounts to be set to the entire product, to all the variants in the product, you can choose per product. And also if you have the quantity breaks plan enabled, you'll have a mix and match option. So this allows you to offer discounts across different price groups. So let's say if I have two price groups, product A is in one price group and product B is in another price group. If I have this enabled, then if I add two of product A into the cart and two of product B, instead of the two products getting a quantity discount of two or more, they'll get four or more for each of those products. Here, this is where you can actually select your products. So um, here you can select individual products. You can select individual variants as well. And then you can select a bulk amount of products through collections, vendors, product types, or just through a dynamic list that you can customize on your own as well. So here I'll just select products. Right now I just have uh, without products. And if I hit search, it'll bring up all the different products that I have. So if I just wanted to find one particular product, if I typed in without, then the without variants product would show up. If you notice that when you type in a, a specific key name for a product and it's not showing up, it might just be a product that you've added in recently and it just hasn't synced within our app. If that's the case, just click, uh, click on sync with Shopify. It'll take about five minutes up to a maximum of about 30 minutes to sync. But after it's done, you should be able to type in keywords and then you can bring up certain products in the product selector here. So I'll just choose without variants here. And then this is where you can actually determine the discounts that you're applying to the products that you've selected in here. So if you, again, if you have the quantity breaks plan enabled, you'll have um, this plus icon here where you can add in more rows to add in more quantities and, per, and discounts per quantity. If you just have the customer pricing plan enabled, then you'll only have one row enabled here. And then whatever you set for the discount here will be the amount that the, the customer will receive when they go onto the product page and they're tagged either with a custom tag or if they're just a default user as well. For the quantity breaks plan, if I would, uh, if I wanted to offer, let's say maybe $2 off if they add one or more, $3 off if they add two or more, $4 off if they add three or more, and then $5 off if they add four or more, that's how that would kind of work. And then here, the group status, if you have this set to enabled, after you hit save, the price group will 
automatically turn on and start discounting your products based off of the tags that you've created. If you want to hold off from applying those discounts to the storefront, you can just have this as grade and then it'll just be deactive when you save the price group. So we'll just go ahead and hit save. And you can see here that the price group just got created, bold test two, it hasn't finished syncing quite yet um, because it's not currently on, but this one is finished syncing. And that's how you basically create a price group. For more information and steps on how to create a price group, you can also check out this help article here. It's called Create Product Pricing Groups. It gives you a list of how to create those, uh, how to create a price group step by step. You can find this on our help center at support.boldcommerce.com.